So you've built up a portfolio of images, generative AI, other illustrations or photography. How can you earn additional money from them beyond what you're already earning at agencies like Adobe Stock? There are, in fact, several different things you could try to make more money from your library of images, and we're going to cover eight of those today in this video. First, a quick reminder to take my AI survey. I'm gathering information from contributors on how much they're earning from their AI images, what agencies they're uploading to, what program they're using to upscale their images, and much more. So please take the survey, it's only eight questions long, and I'll share the results in an upcoming video, as well as feature all the data in an upcoming issue of my newsletter. Be sure to sign up for that too, using the link below. Now onto the list of eight ideas to make money from your images beyond selling them on sites like Adobe Stock. First, print on demand is something that a lot of people generating AI art as well as traditional photographers and illustrators are trying out and having some success with. There are many popular options such as Redbubble, which offers a wide range of products including clothing, home decor, accessories, and stationery. To get started, create an account on their website, upload your designs, set your prices, and customize your storefront. Zazzle offers a wide range of customizable products including clothing, accessories, home decor, and gifts. You can sign up for a free Zazzle account and upload all your images and customize them with tools that they have on their site and publish your products to their marketplace. TeePublic specializes in apparel, including t-shirts, hoodies, and tank tops, featuring designs from independent artists like us. Getting started is as simple as signing up for a free TeePublic account, uploading your images, setting your prices, and customizing your artist profile. Number two is another type of print-on-demand, but these are sites offering gallery-quality prints, like Fine Art America, which is focused on selling high-quality prints of your work, framed prints, and canvas prints, whether you're doing photography, AI, or other types of illustrations. Society6 is another site enabling customers to order art prints of your work. To begin at one of these sites, simply sign up for an account, upload your artwork, set your prices, and personalize your shop. The sites will handle all the printing, shipping, and customer service. Number three, selling your images as digital files on Etsy. A customer may love your images themselves and choose to do their own thing with them, whether it's downloading and printing them for framing, putting them on t-shirts or other objects, or just selling them on products themselves on their own Etsy stores. Some Etsy sellers began creating products like tumblers, and they found they could be much more productive by simply creating the art files and selling them to others to do the physical work of tumbler creation and fulfillment. You could even offer customized images, allowing customers to provide a person's name or a saying, or a photo of themselves or a loved one, and you can incorporate this content into your templatized images for unique gift ideas. The Etsy marketplace presents a lot of freedom and opportunity to photographers and illustrators. Four, turning your images into book covers and selling them on the specialty agency, Archangel. Now, depending on the type of your imagery, this idea may or may not be suited to you. But if you're intrigued by this idea, check out Archangel.com and see what they're all about. They require that you apply to becoming a contributing photographer or illustrator, and they will review your work and determine what makes sense to add to their collection. The volume of sales there will be very small compared to the regular stock agencies like Adobe Stock, but the earnings you receive per sale will be much, much larger, potentially a few hundred dollars per download. There are people making a nice little side income from this, including a blogger named Alexander Ruttenberg, who details his book cover design journey on his site, BrutallyHonestMicroStock.com. He generously shares advice on what types of images make great book covers and details his monthly earnings. Lately, he's been reporting a few sales a month at about $250 per download. 5. Image Bundles on Gumroad, which is a unique site that allows content creators to sell just about anything. There appears to be a good potential to sell image bundles, which is what many illustrators and photographers are trying out right now. You could bundle many of your images on a certain topic or theme and offer them all in one purchase or a subscription type offering that drips new content to buyers as you create it over time. The possibilities seem to be endless at Gumroad, and it's worth checking out to maximize the earnings potential of those images you put a lot of time into generating. 6. Offer your services on Fiverr, Upwork, or Freelancer. So this isn't really selling the images you've already generated, but monetizing the experience you've developed as you've perfected your image generating skills. You could offer buyers your ability to photograph or illustrate a certain object, or generate AI images to their specifications. Sure, anyone can generate AI art, but you've probably spent a lot of time mastering how to write the perfect prompt and a customer doesn't have time to do so. 
they may be willing to pay you $5 or more to quickly get them exactly what they need. And the proof is right there on these sites. There's a growing number of people offering these services on Fiverr, Upwork, and Freelancer. It's easy and free to set up accounts there and start listing your services, so it may be worth your time to check it out. 7. Turn your images into animated videos and sell them on stock video sites. I explored this in a prior post on video creation with AI. Sites like Layapix. This tool can take your still image and add subtle camera movement and perspective to give it the impression of animation. You've probably seen this effect on videos before where it looks like the main object, which is typically a static image, is zoomed in on with the background shifting around the object to create a sense of depth. This involves uploading a photo or image you've created, adjusting the sliders for the movement and depth you like, and generating your video. Also, there's Genmo. Its animations are simple, but more true animation compared to Layapix because your objects will actually come to life. Genmo allows you to upload your own starting image that you want to animate, and this will give you a pretty cool stylized video that iterates on or evolves the original image you uploaded, so you get an effect like the one you see on these videos that are on Adobe Stock right now. If you don't like this effect or if you just don't have a starting image, you can create an image from scratch inside Genmo by just using prompts like you would on Midjourney. Of course, every tool has its limitations, and here are Genmos. You can generate videos for free, but you only get 100 credits to do so each day. And the biggest deal breaker is that running videos for free will leave watermarks on your videos. This won't fly for uploading to Adobe Stock or other sites, so you'll need to pay for credits that get videos that are watermark free and allow for commercial use for selling as stock videos. You can get 1080p or higher resolution in Genmo, but length is capped at 6 seconds, so you'll want to bring the clips into Adobe Premiere or some other editing site to either slow them down or lengthen them. And finally, 8. Showcase your work on your own website and promote it on social media. You can sell digital downloads of your files and keep most, if not all, of the profits, or you can offer customer freelance work to those who come and check out your portfolio and love your style. This idea is one that requires more effort than the others because it needs you to not only build the site but also promote it yourself. If you already have an established customer base or social media following, you'll have a big leg up here. Now, there are many services available for building your own site, including an image portfolio. You could set up a WordPress site and use an e-commerce plugin like WooCommerce, or there are e-commerce services like Shopify that include templates built for artists to sell their work. Finally, services like Zenfolio were created with photographers and illustrators in mind, and their entire systems are geared towards showing off your work and helping you sell. Again, as with all the other ideas I've included in this video, your success will depend on you being able to do a fair amount of promotion yourself to attract customers. You won't have the built-in audience of a site like Adobe Stock, so you'll be starting with zero, which, like I said, makes it important to have an established following like past clients or social media following. So there you go, eight different ways to make more money from your work beyond selling on the traditional stock agency websites. Which ones sound the most interesting to you? Let me know which ones you'd like to learn more about in detail, and I'll try to do longer videos offering how-to steps on the opportunities that the most viewers want to explore further. Also, please be sure to take my generative AI poll, which is linked below, and watch for the results in an upcoming video and also in an upcoming issue of my newsletter. And until next time, I'll see you soon.